Mmm, mmm. It goes so well together, the, the prawn and the mungo. Oh my gosh, there's so many goodies in here. Hey guys, welcome to my daily vlogs. Please subscribe. Good morning. Morning. Did you sleep well? Mm -hmm. The vlog begins with you, Ligai. <laughs> oh my. This is so beautiful. Look, guys, what RJ did. Oh my gosh. Look at how beautiful. Mmm, those prawns. Oh, it smells heavenly. Guys, do you guys know mungo? It's mung bean. And Filipinos make it into like a sort of porridge. Oh, and it looks delicious. Sorry, Cypher, you can't have this. <laughs> Oh my gosh, I love the table setting. It's so nice. Mmm, guys, yum. OMG, it's nice and warm and hot. Ooh, look at this bowl. It's like gold rim. There's like gold here on the rim. <gasps> okay, let's try it. Mmm, mmm. I added eggplant and I smell it's ampalaya. ginger, ampalaya, tomato. Mmm. This reminds me of my mom. <laughs> mm -mm. Eggplant. Eggplant. Mmm. Ampalaya, bitter, bitter melon. A lot of onions and garlic, and then ginger. I love this prawn head. Love it. Mmm, mmm. It goes so well together, the, the prawn and the mungo. Oh my gosh, there's so many goodies in here. There's big cloves of garlic, mm, onions. Mm, mm, mm. I fry the shrimp with paprika and olive oil. Shrimp with paprika, olive oil? And pepper. Mmm, 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 mmm. So good, guys. RJ is a chef. Guys, I ate the whole thing and I'm just eating what's left over in the pot. <laughs> RJ said also you used stock mm -hmm. from the prawns. Yeah. He boiled the prawns first and used all of that natural flavor in the soup to flavor this mung bean porridge. Mm. And I used a little bit of small amount of fish sauce, patis. Patis. Mm. Guys, I'm gonna show you how to make mung bean porridge, which is a great source of protein. First, prepare the ingredients and pre-cook the mung beans for at least 20 minutes. Next, to take garlic, onions, tomatoes, and ginger all at the same time. Now you can add the mung beans and constantly mix it under low fire for about 5 minutes. For flavor, add a bowl of shrimp or chicken broth, a small amount of patis or fish sauce, and bring it to a boil to infuse all the flavors. Now throw in some eggplant and ampalaya and cook for another 5 to 7 minutes. And if you want to plate it nicely, you could try what I did here. With gold rim bowls, glasses, and cutlery. An exquisite lunch by our window. You guys might be wondering what I'm doing. I'm rinsing my sprouts. I'm afraid I might have screwed this one up, guys. It smells kind of raunchy. Must go. You have to wash the sprouts two to three times a day. I've only been doing it two times a day, but maybe that's not enough for um, these lentils. Last time I was washing them religiously, like three times a day, sometimes four. I'm basically just putting water in, shaking it so all the milky, like grossness, floats to the top, and then I drain it and I smell it. Mm. So then, when I'm satisfied with its rinsage, I basically fill it with water and then I add this magical stuff here, grapefruit seed extract. Now for those of you who are just joining us, you're wondering, what are you doing? I'm sprouting my seeds, legumes, and grains. This is mostly for the Gaia. Also give some to Cypher. We can eat this too. It basically turns your seeds, legumes, and grains into superfood. It unlocks nutrients if you eat it in a sprouted form, as opposed to just like eating it normally fresh out of the package. And super healthy for the Gaia. If you have a bird, sprouting your seeds, your grains, and your lentils is awesome. It burns off all of that fat and unlocks the nutrients but it's a very lengthy process at first I'm basically making enough to last me a couple months a few months in this one in particular it's red lentils and tricolor quinoa that's sprouting and it's actually also a workout 
And then in this jar here, I have mung bean and millet. I also have a container of almonds which have soaked and they're also sprouting now. Awesome. See, they like grow in size and they get a little bit softer. Healthy! All right guys, and now I add my grape seed extract. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Turn one, two, two, turn three, turn four, turn five. 25 drops of it. And I just let this sit for a few minutes. Then I drain it and the grapefruit seed extract apparently helps battle mold so that this whole thing won't mold or spoil. Or go panit, they say in Filipino. All right, 15 minutes like that. Turn it over, drain it all, and then continue the sprouting process. Okay guys, positive affirmation time for Sunday, August the 30th. My potential is unlimited. Ooh, love that. There you go, guys. Your potential is unlimited. Oh my, guys. Look at RJ's new setup. I love the M&R pillows. Mister. <laughs> But look at this, this new table, gorgeous. It's foldable? Oh, interesting. What are these? Are these? Oh, they're jar covers, okay. This decor, how crafty. There's unicorn, squirrel, and a deer here. Ooh, love the plates, look at these plates. This is so nice. I love the plate. Look at the, the placemat. It's like little tiny leaves. There are leaves here. It's a very nature-inspired tablescape, RJ. Very nice. Golden cutlery, golden serviette, like holder. How cute. RJ, you're getting so good at this. OMG guys, so architect Dennis, the architect who is building our future farmhouse, sent me a message today showing me a flying lizard that the workers must have caught on the property on our farm. Isn't that crazy? I didn't even know Philippines had native flying frogs. Well, gliding frogs technically, but uh, they caught it and architect's like, do you want to keep it? I'm like, no, I don't want to keep it. I want it to be proliferating on our farm. I want this thing to be eating bugs. I love that there's so much fauna, like diversity out in the farm where we're going to live. <laughs> OMG. I can't wait to discover the crazy wildlife that lives where we live. So guys, if uh, you've been watching the Ants Canada channel, you'll know that I've got a brand new Floating Mountains Paludarium. Floating Mountains from Avatar the movie, of course. Um, This is going to be the future home for my fire ants, guys. Isn't that crazy? I collaborated with a friend of mine who is awesome at creating like decor for terrariums. His name is Ryan Jett and he helped me create this. Look at that. It looks like the mountains are floating, right? Pretty, pretty awesome. Um, and there's a fogger, a fogging machine up in the corner that creates this fog down here a few times a day. Um, it, it makes it look like it's in the sky. Isn't that cool? It looks like a Dungeons and Dragons set. Seriously, I feel like we just need little figurines now so we could roll play but there's also a waterfall on one side. The water comes from a filter whose tube runs through the back of the tank and there's the filter right there. It takes the water from this end in, so this water is constantly filtered. There's live mosses there, live mosses in the waterfall, live mosses on the floating mountains and on this rock shelf here. Oh gosh, guys, I love, love this. I cannot wait to move my fire ants in. If you haven't seen the Ants Canada episode, do check it out it's uh, our latest video and uh, yeah see how this was made this actually was a collaborative effort between myself of course Ryan and all the subscribers of the Ants Canada channel they helped choose this particular design over a series of videos through votes so hundreds of thousands of people helped decide and create this so it's really really cool and I really look forward to the fire ants moving in by the way the fire ants will be living in the floating mountains see these floating mountains are hollow they're going to be filled with like soil and dirt and that's where the fire ants will nest they'll put all their babies inside the floating mountains hopefully and they can easily cross these branches to get to each other um and to get to the land portion i'll probably be feeding them on the land and it's pretty epic wouldn't you say gosh it's just gorgeous 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 paludarium guys it's been an amazing day heading to bed now thank you so much for joining us today guys it's been so much fun and i will see you guys tomorrow morning be sure to smile going to bed today love you guys bye mm -hmm.